we as a people seem to be possessed by a ravenous spirit. We have to make some kind of drastic change, some kind of deep repentance. The way we are living here is hurtful. We've been just crushed enough not to be absolutely out there, and we've been just educated enough to be able to speak to these very important points, and we're right here, and we're waiting for this conversation. In fact, the conversation is necessary for our survival. X-Men 2023. Labor and the expression of worth, aligning our work with our deepest values. We're being led by all the wisdom messages to wake up to the fact that we are not this individuated self. For those of us who have been seeking healing, we've come into this message in a deep way, trying to, to be a part, trying to fix ourselves. Behind every instance of homelessness and mental illness, there is a story of struggle. We are coming to realize that it is not the struggle of an individual. It is the struggle of a people. Yes, there is a responsibility that the individual seems to take in the coming into the realization of depth. And also, when we are born into cultures which benefit from the production of cogs being people and profit from war and prison systems, we have to understand that we are not being educated to overcome that status quo. There are some of us, myself included, who have joined at every opportunity in an acknowledgement that there is a deep need, a deep need for healing. I have confessed this to, to my community for all of my adult life. Since I was 22, I was publicly asking for help. There is a great breakdown taking place for many of us and has been taking place for many years now. I've met you, I know you, I know that you are intelligent and kind and compassionate and very, very capable. It's got to be okay when one is unable to conform to a system which is so obviously dysfunctional. There are those of us who cannot conform any longer to a system that is apparently sick. Common knowledge, everyone understands how broken our system is and how it is producing more brokenness in us. In the tradition of Woody Guthrie, I speak these words today, a, uh, a great rising up, a rising up from trauma, a use of intelligence and song and capacity to communicate, to make oneself relevant in the world, right? Aligning oneself with a pertinent and relevant message I am an advocate for the uh, mentally ill. I am an advocate for the homeless because I am now experiencing life like this. It just happens at this point in the evolution of our consciousness that like Woody Guthrie, we can start speaking out. Even those of us with thick, dirty hair, <laughs> even us Okies, right? Even us white, male Okies now can even somehow have a vision of the entirety of the whole and we can and we can say yes I have seen this vision and we must answer. Do you think that there might be some kind of karmic penalty for living out our lives in such abundance in a nation that was born of an indigenous genocide and built on the backs of an enslaved people. I'm going to suggest something of uh, radical, absurd brilliance. <clears throat> it's not my idea, I've heard it before, but I suggest that we give the land back. I mean, Oklahoma, that would just be a start, right? Here's a thing, the oppressors that is written into our DNA as well. No one escapes the tragedy of the impression. And so let's give it back. I speak this message prophetically from an archetypal space, realizing that there is a status quo and what would it mean to give it back to the Native Americans, Oklahoma, and then 
how far do you go back? Because in some sense, we are all invasive species, right? So I embody this activism, and also it's this post-activism thing where we realize even as activists that every step that we take has an opposite reaction in this world of the binary. So how do we give that back? How do we surrender what we do not rightfully possess when generations have gone? We, as a people, seem to be possessed by a ravenous spirit, a spirit that must continue devouring and devouring. We have created systems which require continual growth, continual consumption. We are being adversely affected by the systems that we have created in our ignorance. We make these moves because we're so clever, yet our cleverness runs out ahead of our heart, and so we create war machines. This is all understandable. We're trying to wake up from this. So then we get behind causes, like let's give it back. This land is your land. It is possible that by bringing back a call like that, that we could raise consciousness, just even in the serious consideration. It is time that we make serious considerations, like that we have to, we have to make some kind of drastic change, some kind of deep repentance. The way we are living here is hurtful. We are hurting one another. There are those of us who are feeling that, who have been feeling that for a lifetime, and we are now here to help. We've been just crushed enough not to be absolutely out there, and we've been just educated enough to be able to speak to these very important points, and we're right here, and we're waiting for this conversation. In fact, the conversation is necessary for our survival. X-Men, 2023.